this vineyard is a happy place for African Americans. You know, we have a long, long history here from being sea captains and then from being servants to other families and they left their homes to us and we planted roots here. The vineyard honestly was a place where, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and um, Rosa Parks used to come here just to get away from the racism on the mainland. Martin Luther King actually wrote some of his speeches on this island. So it really is a special, sacred place. And we picked it because we felt that um, more people need to know about Martha's Vineyard. It's an island, it's beautiful, and it just makes you relax. And filmmakers feel loved and supported here. Twenty years went by so fast, but we're so honored and blessed to be celebrating it here on this beautiful island with all of you. Everybody's got a sacred story that motivates us, moves us. It's not just a matter of nostalgia, it powers us into the present and into the future. Let me begin by thanking Stephanie and Floyd for their leadership and for celebrating 20 years of this amazing film festival. There is a term that I'm using constantly. I believe I'm worth it. You just plant the seed. You don't know how it's gonna grow, but you have to plant it. So however it grows is how it grows. So since 2020, after we do this in August in person, we do a virtual component with Meta. Floyd and I thought this is a fantastic idea because one thing for sure, during the pandemic, everybody was on social media. At that time, I was not a fan of virtual events. It's hard to get people to be on your website for seven days to watch independent films. Last year, they bought their initiative, We The Culture, which is an amazing platform for artists of color to come and to talk about the great work that they're doing with their careers. For those of you that don't know, We The Culture is our love letter to Black culture and those that create it. Our overarching goal is to create a community that gives Black creators the access, the opportunity, and resources they need to thrive, amplify their work, and make their creativity sustainable. As a kid, I endured a lot of things, and in order to escape those things, I would go places in my mind. As I'm creating these worlds in my head, they were so vivid and so real and so clear. Those moments of tragedy and pain that allowed me to create this space, it's all art. Tell your stories. This is a panel on visionary women, a conversation on new wave filmmaking voices. And I couldn't think of two better people to share the stage with than Nikki Atu Jusu and Mariama Diallo. Stay true to yourself. What usually pops is people who are unique and interesting and self-aware and true to who they are and the stories they want to tell. Get out of your way a little bit in that sense and just make something. It's so much better to make an imperfect, real, tangible thing than to have a brilliant idea. We started this partnership. We did about 60 or 70 films on our Facebook page. And this year they have Oculus. We have films that are gonna be in our own channel of the film festival in the metaverse. It's so important because we get filmmakers and creatives from all over the world. This festival meant the most in my soul and in my mind because as black people, we have a responsibility to ourselves and to the world to really showcase who we are. You have given me agency to be fun, free, and a regular person without the weight of having to represent everyone and everything. And I think that is the real gift.
experience a little bit of Martha's Vineyard, it's a magical place. And you're gonna find out. Got Zach here. Hello. And I'm officially your tour guide. We're here at Inkwell Beach for We The Culture and we are just enjoying some of the beautiful and just amazing, amazing weather here in Martha's Vineyard. So they call these the gingerbread houses. your first time in Martha's Vineyard. Yes, yes. How was your experience? It's beautiful. Do you hear those sounds? <laughs> it's the wind chimes, the nature, just the architecture, you know? I'm loving these homes and the color. It's really inspiring. I mean, as an artist, it's so important to find inspiration. Where do you draw your inspiration from? Well, you know, growing up, um, I was always into arts and crafts and DIY and really just, I loved art. We have to experiment and be willing to take risks in order to really push the culture forward, which is what We The Culture is all about. Honestly, if you want to see change, if you want to see representation, you have to go out there and be bold, push and pioneer new waves and new movements. My incline to what we would call success has always felt slow and at times I felt like the underdog and I felt like, you know, I just want somebody to understand me and hear my voice. Working with We The Culture, it feels like you have a support system, not just, you know, through funding ideas, but through partnerships, through collaboration, through network. Those are the type of resources that black creators need to thrive in our industries. And thriving is different for everyone. Thriving is what we want to see. I'm Nadeja Bowling. I'm a Quinta Wampanoag and Black. I am from uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's where I was born and raised, but I'm now back home here in Quinta. Most people who visit Martha's Vineyard don't even know that there's a tribe here. And we are a federally recognized tribe, which means that we're given the status of a nation. Records will tell you that we've been here for at least 12,000 years, um, but we know that we've been here longer than that. Kind of sad situation, we're now pushed back and onto one teeny tiny sliver of the entire island. This land specifically was land that was part of my family who owned about 20 acres right around this house. And it was farmland and a home that took about 20 years to build and finish. It's now held by the town and by um, the land bank so that private property owners can't buy it up. And we're able to restore the space and use it as a teaching opportunity for tribal members and um, visitors. I create some things. I made these earrings. I think it's just part of our DNA to work with all of the resources and relatives um, around us to make things beautiful. We're standing right now on top of clay cliffs that our people have harvested from for hundreds and hundreds of years to make pottery for functional purposes, but also just to make beautiful things to give people a piece of our land when they travel away. A lot of our inspiration comes from the trees, even the wind, the ground that we're on, the flowers that grow up. There's so much in indigenous culture specifically. If you just dissect it and you learn a bit about it, it helps us move forward in a way that's respectful to the earth and to other people and 
These are some foundational things that will help us stay around longer as humans on this planet. And so to me, learning the culture in that way, and especially through an environmental lens, is critical.